you're awful! I can't believe you're not willing to give us a congratulatory gift for our wedding. Just because we're getting married before you? Don't hold a grudge against us. Our marriage has nothing to do with your unattractiveness. Huh? I heard about it from Brandon. Even though you're his sister, you declared that you wouldn't give us any congratulatory gifts. It's terrible, just because you're upset to see two young people getting married. If you're going to do that kind of thing, I can't get along with you as my sister-in-law. Wait a minute, calm down. I wouldn't refuse to give you a congratulatory gift for such a reason. Ruby, you've misunderstood many things. Huh? What part did I misunderstand? Brandon, my brother himself, told me I wouldn't have to give you a congratulatory gift. In exchange, he wants me to clear all the debts he owes me. He said it would be helpful if I didn't pay for the congratulatory gift. What? Debts? Why does he have a debt? I've never heard of such a thing. Braden didn't tell you about it, did he? Actually, I lent Brandon some money when he was in college. He whined to me that he wanted to go on a graduation trip with his friends, but his part-time job didn't pay enough. So, I offered to lend him $3,000 since I was working and earned some money. $3,000? I agreed to have him pay it back after he started working, but the salary for a new graduate isn't that high. So it's been hard for him to pay me back. He still owes me $2,000. So we decided to offset it with the congratulatory gift. Offset? That's going to make it even? So you really aren't bringing any gifts on the day of the wedding? Yes, that's the plan. But it's not that I don't want to celebrate your marriage. Now, the misunderstanding about the congratulatory gift has been cleared up. The misunderstanding is cleared, but I still don't agree. As my sister-in-law, I don't think it's right that you don't offer any congratulatory gifts. What? I have nothing to do with Brandon's debt. Even if you don't have a congratulatory gift to give your brother and his wife, you should have one for your sister-in-law. It's fine to give it to me as a personal congratulatory gift. Personal congratulatory gift? Um, Ruby, you mean you want the debt cleared and you also want the congratulatory gift? Yes, that's right. I'm sure no one else knows about this arrangement. And yet, try showing up empty-handed on the day of the wedding. I'm sure... Everyone will think you're an insane sister who doesn't even offer a congratulatory gift. I don't think so. It's not like all the guests will be at the reception. I don't think anyone will notice even if I come empty-handed. No, they will definitely notice. So, in order for you to not be embarrassed, Vanessa, you should definitely bring a congratulatory gift. I'm not saying you should bring thousands of dollars, but I think $1,000 or so would be nice. $1,000 on top of the debt being cleared? Well then, I'll be counting on you on the day of the ceremony. I expect you to act with common sense. Hey Brandon, how did you explain to Ruby about me? Thanks to you, things got complicated. Complicated? I just received complaints about the congratulatory gift from Ruby. She said, I don't care about clearing his debt. In fact, she wants me to clear it on top of bringing congratulatory money. What? Seriously? I explained the situation to her, but she seems to want me to give her money no matter what. Was Ruby always like that? Sorry, sis. Ruby is frustrated right now because of the wedding expenses. I think that's why she said those crazy things to you. I'll talk to her.
So could you please forgive her this once? Why is she so frustrated? Mom and Dad told me that everything's going great with the wedding preparations. Actually, well, I've been telling them things are going well, but it's actually been pretty tough. I'm having a huge fight with Ruby every day over the lack of money for the wedding. What? You don't have enough money for the wedding? But you said you two were going to stick within your savings, right? That was the plan, but neither of us had much savings beyond imagination. Like, we were both relying on each other. When we finally showed each other our savings account balances, they were in a bad situation. No kidding! Still, I tried to work within our budget, but Ruby wanted to have a lavish wedding of some kind. No matter how many times I tried to convince her, she insisted that she wouldn't downgrade the ceremony. She says that we can pay for the shirtfall with the wedding gifts. So that's why she desperately asked me for the congratulatory gift. I guess she wants to collect as much as she can. That's probably what she meant. But Brandon, such a wedding solely based on wedding gifts is risky. A wedding that's beyond your capacity will only make you suffer later on. You have to convince Ruby and try to stay within the budget. I know that, and I've tried to convince her many times. But Ruby really doesn't listen to me, and she blames me for this once-in-a-lifetime wedding. If she says that to me, I can't say anything back to her. Once in a lifetime is the ultimate power word. So sis, I'm sorry, but can I ask you to pay for the wedding? Excuse me? As a man, I really want to make her dream wedding come true. That's why I'm asking you. Please lend me the money for the wedding without letting Ruby know. Why must I not tell Ruby? If you want to borrow money from me, the two of you should bow your heads together. Please consider where I stand. I don't have much savings and lack manly dignity even now. It's too embarrassing to tell her that I borrowed money from my sister on top of that. So, can you lend me $30,000 for the wedding without Ruby finding out? And make it look like you pay $1,000 as a congratulatory gift, just like Ruby wants? No way. You want me to pay for the wedding in addition to giving you the congratulatory gift? Even though I'm willing to clear your debt? I know I'm being selfish, but I'm begging you. Please help your sweet little brother. What a brother you are. I don't mind lending you money, but this time, I'll make you sign a pledge, and I'll even charge you interest. What? Seriously? Of course! $30,000 is a lot of money, and you haven't even paid back the $3,000 for the graduation trip on your own, Brandon. You just managed to square it with the congratulatory gift. To be honest, you don't have a reliable repayment history. I know, but... That's why I'm going to make you sign a pledge and pay interest on it. No matter how much I love my little brother, I can't lend you $30,000 for free. I understand. If that's the case, you can charge me interest and I'll write a pledge. It's my fault you can't trust me. So please, please lend me money for the wedding. Okay, I'll call you when I've prepared the forms. As soon as you sign it, I'll transfer the money to your account. Got it. I'll sign it right away, so please transfer the money. Vanessa, what in the world is this congratulatory gift? The green sister only paid $1,000? Why didn't you bring more money? You told me to bring $1,000, right, Ruby? I did as you told me. So why should I get scolded for that? 
I did say one thousand dollars, but normally they'd be more considerate and offer more money. You're old and single, so you have a lot of money. You could have brought me three thousand dollars or even five thousand dollars, huh? I've been aware of this for a while, but you're really inconsiderate, and you're even stingier than I imagined. I'm really disappointed in you, Vanessa. I can't continue to maintain a relationship with you if you're like this. What do you mean by that? It means I have to reconsider our future relationship. It's not easy to get along with an old single sister-in-law, but on top of that, she's so stingy. So, if you can give me more than one thousand dollars. I'll refrain from seeing you, huh? Brandon told me you're a person with money to spare. Then I would have been happy to get along with you. I never thought you didn't have as much money as I expected. What's with the my sister is rich, so don't worry about it thing? To me, you're just a poor sister. Wait a minute, my sister is rich. Is that what Brandon told you? Yes, he did. He said she's single with extra money, so she's a convenient sister. He always told me that. That's why I was expecting a nice congratulatory gift. I beg your pardon. But it seems you don't have as much money as I thought. I'm sorry, but you'll have to keep your distance from us from now on. Even though you are his sister, you are still a stranger to me. I have no intention of befriending a single hag with no money. Does that mean you want to cut ties with me from now on? Simply put, yes. I'll never have anything to do with a poor person again. There's no merit in being friends with my sister-in-law who can only afford one thousand dollars. Then you'll have to pay me back the wedding expenses too. What? It's a good thing I made him sign a pledge after all. Then, please pay back the thirty thousand dollars immediately after the wedding. Once that's settled, we'll cut off our ties, just as you requested, Ruby. What do you mean by repaying thirty thousand dollars? What are you suddenly saying? Oh, I see. You don't know anything about this—that I lent my little brother thirty thousand dollars for the wedding expenses. You knew absolutely nothing. That's why you were so careless to call me a poor old hag. What? You already owe me thirty thousand dollars, and yet you still demand that I give you three thousand dollars or five thousand dollars as congratulations. It's beyond brazen. You're so greedy. But I guess it can't be helped since you didn't know anything about it. Wait a minute. What? You lent us thirty thousand dollars for today's wedding? You, Vanessa, to us? I heard that neither you nor Brandon had much money saved up, but you really wanted to have a gorgeous wedding no matter what. That's why Brandon came begging to me, saying, "Please lend me thirty thousand dollars without telling Ruby." What? I'm pretty soft on my little brother Brandon. Maybe it's because of our age difference. I can't refuse his requests, but this time. It's a big amount of money, right? So, I made a written pledge in exchange for lending him thirty thousand dollars. And in it, there was a plan in case our relationship broke off. What? In the event that we lose touch with each other during the repayment, you must immediately pay the unpaid amount in a lump sum. Just now, I received a declaration from you. Thankfully, that you are cutting off your relationship with me, so please pay it immediately in one lump sum. Wait a minute, are you kidding me? I don't know anything about that.
It's impossible. Even if it's impossible, I'll still ask you to pay. But since I'm a very kind-hearted person, I'll await your repayment for today. Let's enjoy your wedding first. So please pay me back first thing tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning? I bet your new life after the wedding will be tough. Maybe today will be the last time you can eat good food. It might be hard on your stomach in the dress, but you'd better eat well. I heard from Ruby. I'm sorry Ruby was so rude to you. It's all kind of a joke, so don't take it seriously. I explained the situation honestly to her. Ruby also wants to apologize to you. Oh, what does she want to apologize for? For making fun of me for being single in her thirties? For unilaterally declaring to cut ties with me, even without listening to what I had to say? Or for revealing that you were making fun of me behind my back? I heard you called me a convenient sister with extra money. I can't believe you called your kind sister like that. That hurt my feelings a lot. You may be a money grubber, but you were still my little brother. I've been there for you every step of the way. You shouldn't have treated me like that. No, 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 sis. Of course, I didn't mean it. It was just a joke I was making. Then, you'll regret that joke. The thirty thousand dollars for the wedding must be paid back by tomorrow. Oh no! With interest, of course. Don't forget. I'm sorry, Vanessa. It's impossible to pay back the entire amount in one lump sum. We couldn't reach thirty thousand dollars even with today's congratulatory gifts. Please, please let us pay it back in installments. No way. Oh no! But we really don't have any money. We're spending all our money on our honeymoon starting next week and our new life. We really can't afford thirty thousand dollars. That's what consumer loans are for. Oh no! If you don't want to rely on consumer loans, stop making excuses and collect the money as soon as possible. Cancel your honeymoon, and start your new life in a cheap apartment. If you combine that with a wedding gift, it might unexpectedly be enough. I don't want to do that. We won't be able to travel much once we have a baby, and we can't raise a baby in a cheap apartment. We're expecting a baby next year. What, Ruby? You're pregnant. I was actually going to tell everyone at the wedding today, but I didn't feel like it, so I couldn't tell them. Oh, I see. So please, Vanessa, please don't tell us to pay it back in one lump sum, and give us some time, or else we'll end up borrowing thirty thousand dollars from consumer loans. It would be a burden on the child to live in debt right after birth, and I'll feel sorry for her. That's true. I feel very sorry for her, to be born to such stupid parents. I really feel sorry for the baby. What? I would never raise a child in a small, cramped apartment. I would be able to raise a baby in a very well located, spacious townhouse. I'd spend a lot of money on my child. They say children can't choose their parents, and they're right. You live in a place like that. Brandon told you that his sister is single and has plenty of money. She's been working her whole life and makes two hundred thousand dollars a year, and she's enjoying an elegant single life. Two hundred thousand dollars a year? You earn that much? Oh, then I can expect a nice baby shower gift. No way. Why would I pay for the child of someone I've cut myself off from? I wouldn't pay a penny for that. 
I don't even want to see her face. I don't need to hear about the birth, so don't contact me again. What? Huh? Why are you surprised? It was you who said you wanted to cut ties with me, Ruby. And I'm telling you, I don't want to do that. I was just kidding about cutting off our relationship. Please continue to keep close to us. I'm sure the baby I'm carrying will be adorable just like Brandon. Please take good care of her as her aunt. I can't love my brother and his wife's child, so don't expect any support from me. And of course, I won't allow any delay in repaying the thirty thousand dollars. Then, please make the transfer by the end of the day. After that, they both begged their parents for help. You're both married grown-ups. Take responsibility for your own actions, they said. Apparently, their parents also wondered how such a young couple could afford such an expensive wedding. But they still didn't give up. They said, "Actually, we're having a baby. Please help us for the sake of your lovely grandchild," and got down on their knees to their parents. However, they said, "If you are going to be parents, the more so you should take care of it yourself." Is that the way to live as parents? In the end, they borrowed money from a consumer finance company and repaid it to me in a lump sum. Their parents said they would not support them in raising their child, and would only offer minimal congratulatory gifts. They were both expecting a lot of congratulations and help with childcare. In a panic, they canceled their honeymoon and started to prepare for the childbirth in a cheap apartment.